Have you read the book? No, not yet. No? Wait for, my free, wait for my free copy, autographed. Uh, 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 and has, <laughs> has to John Lovroy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So he, he hasn't dropped one around yet? I haven't seen him much this week. He's okay. been out plugging the book. But How are you getting on in general? Do you see much of him? Very professionally. Okay. <laughs> See, professional could mean a lot of things. <laughs> so it's no, it's really good. no, it's really good, but in the sense, well, Martin's the manager. I always make that point, so my primary relation was the manager. I was at Roy the other day at the IMI conference, both Martin and Roy were speaking, I was opening the thing, you're in the car for you know, half an hour or so on the way in and whatever it would be, so it's great, yeah. it's perfect. But well, winning matches is great, trust me. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. right. And are you bothered at all? He had kind of a slight little kick off you in the book, I suppose, in, in saying that uh, maybe you were a bit... You were a bit hasty in getting rid of Brian Card in, in 05, wasn't it? Yeah, well, he's entitled to his opinion. I mean, that, that's his opinion. Um, and it wouldn't have been the prevailing opinion at the time. I think a lot of people would have felt that Brian Carr's time was up with the Irish team, be it the media or the players or the supporters. But I agree with him one thing. He said he should have been captain of that side. And uh, I, think, I think he's right. He should have been captain of that team. And had he captained that team, maybe we would have got to the World Cup.